Well guys, I uh, just finished watching Far Cry Winter Soldier episode 5, Truth. And oh my god, it was amazing. Yes guys, welcome back to another review of Far Cry Winter Soldier and... <laughs> this episode was a banger. Um, before we get started, I'd just like to say thank you for the support on this series so far. Um, I'll be doing it for Bad Batch, uh, Loki, and uh, some stuff that comes out like What If. But yeah, um, let's get right into it. Um, can you continue from last episode? We see John walk into a warehouse. Um, he says it's time to go to work, which is something Steve says. And we see Bucky and Sam face off against John Walker in a fight for the shield, which was fucking awesome, by the way. Uh, the outcome fight. John Walker breaks his right arm because of Bucky and Sam wrapping, like, getting rid of the shield for him. And then they retreat. John um, is stripped of the rights of Captain America and all that uh, after he comes back from Latvia. Um, he tries to counteract it, tries to argue against it, but the, uh, I think it's the Senator doesn't allow it, so he goes on a rant saying he is Captain America, which uh, agrees to disagree. Um, obviously, we see Sam and Bucky also return, but first off, for that, we see Bucky with a gun pointing it to the face of Zemo, doesn't shoot it, but well, he clicks it, but there is no bullet fired. Instead, we see the bullets in Bucky's other hand, he drops them to the floor. And then the Dora Milaje, yes, I found out their name now, come in and arrest Zemo. Zemo goes peacefully, which fair play to him. Um, and then Bucky asks for one more favour, and it cuts next to Sam back at home at the boat trying to rebuild it. Bucky comes in um, right before that. We see Sandwich Shield go to Isaiah Bradley, who is the black super soldier that we saw in episode two. I think it's two or three. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, we see that. Isaiah explains in more detail of what happened to him. He got tested on his shit. Um, and obviously, there's some stuff about race in here, which I. Gotta be fair play to the lads. Um, yeah, um, Sam returns the next day, uh, talks to his sister, calls her a few favours from people that uh, Sam's parents fed throughout the years. So they bring some resources down to the docks because they're kind of struggling right now. And we also see that Bucky is helping out, which is good for him. Um, we see that there's some sort of thing between Bucky and Sarah. Uh, Bucky's kind of flirting with Sarah, which, I mean, fair enough, I mean, top top job to him if he wants to bang his mutual friend's sister, let's call each other. Um, Bucky helps out Sam with the boat that they were trying to sell, but they couldn't because it's too broken down. But Bucky also brings a Wakandan briefcase with something inside it. Sam just needs to sign it, and it's his. Um, after the fix the boat, we see that um, they are practicing with shield. Both Sam and Bucky. They have a heart to heart. Uh, Sam tells Bucky that he doesn't need to avenge, which is what he's been doing. He actually needs to amend. So like. Um, I can see this going down the route of him telling Yuri what happened to his son. Which, hey ho, is amending the mystery of his murder, his son's murder, so I'll be fair enough. Um, and then we see Bucky uh, is leaving and they have a little conversation calling themselves mutual friends because of Cap. And we also hear that Captain America is actually dead. He had now died. 
uh, after this we see Charlotte Foe talking to someone who came out of the Algerian prison which knowing later on in the episode is Batroc Batroc sorry so we can see Sharon kind of played both sides here then after that Batroc Batroc meets up with Carly and they decide to go to invade the GRC vote tonight and then I think it was before that or just after, just before just after we see a rocky like training montage from Sam Wilson trying to get in shape and prepare for the fight with his uh, just for any fight and trying to get used to the shield which he finally has thank god Then we hear about a ping that's been coming across uh, Europe of where the flag matches are. They found a new one in New York, which is where the GRC vote is taking place. Uh, 20 million people got to vote on whether they should remove 20 million refugees. Sorry, it's not 20 million votes, it's the uh, United Nations vote on whether they should move, what the GRC vote on whether they should move 20 million refugees back to their country of origin who were displaced during the blip. And then after this, uh, it gets hacked, the entire station, and we also see behind the Senator of the United States, two red eyes. Um, who knows what that could mean, but we know that the Flag Mashers have got to be the ones who attacked, and I am kind of thinking now Sharon could be the power broker, but who knows? Um, and then Sam turns round to the briefcase, fingerprint on it, opens it up, but the camera, just when he opens it up, turns to the opposite side so we can see the back of it. We never see what's inside the briefcase, and we still don't know what's inside the briefcase. <laughs> Which I'm suspecting it could be one of three things either new wings, super soldier serum, super soldier serum. Or something that used to belong to Steve as well. But yeah, the episode ends there. But for the first time in the series, there's a post credit scene where we see John Walker after uh, his stuff with the Senate and meeting with whatever the fucking name is. Um, he's building a new shield. So he's not going to try and get the one back from Sam. He's building his own shield but that's the breakdown let me give you my rating and review of episode 5 truth so as gentlemen I've given this episode a 9 out of 10 now um, the reason it's my favorite episode so far uh, for you who don't know my highest ranked one um, it's just good fight scenes good montages very emotional and I enjoyed it a lot. What? Like, it's really put me on the edge of my seat for episode six. First, what's in the briefcase? Two, who's the power broker? Which I'm guessing is Sharon. Three, will Carly get caught? And four, who will die? Because I've suspected there's going to be a death here. And the people I think will die are either Bucky, Carly, or Batroc. And I hope it's not Bucky because Bucky trying to underrate the MCU and I'm glad he's getting this time finally. <clears throat> but I don't think he should get this time just for him to be killed off. But guys, that is my review and rating of Falcon of the Winter Soldier Episode 5 Truth. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all take care. Sorry about this ragged hair. Yeah. Take care and peace. I'm a fucking idiot again, sorry. Alright, just take care and peace.